Hi and welcome back to the Top Talent Family Festival, number one, Saturday session. Coming up next is the wonderful Jacob George from Florida. Jacob, how are you, brother? I'm excellent. Thanks for having me. Oh, pleasure, dude. Pleasure. Could you tell us, like, the last, who is Jacob George? What type of music do you do? Then I'll ask you about a certain song. Yeah? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Miami, Florida. I have a three-piece band called Jacob George Band. Um, I'm a Berkeley grad. Uh, I've been writing songs for many years. I have a full album out and two singles out and two more on the way. Um, I have a music video that we released last year for my song Mama's Girl. And this next song that we're going to play is the single off of my first album, Fight the Feeling. It's called Cold Machine. It's, it's an absolute smash hit. It's just from Spotify. We're just going to play a Spotify track this time, ladies and gentlemen. But if you don't know Jacob George, he's absolutely fantastic. Let's uh, get his acquainted with you if you're not. Jacob George and Cole Machine. Here it's here. Let's go, gentlemen. Searching all these vacant eyes I'm making ordinary somethings Getting over and out to nothing I'm moving forward and I'm walking backwards It's taking me over and I'm overreacting Like it's 3 a.m. on Sunday And I can't remember my whole name She hits me like a sun Absolutely love you, man. I swear to God. Welcome to the show, Swilly. 
Stephen Williams, another guest tonight. What, what, what a character he has, right? He's meet him. Uh, right, so let's go with the compliments for uh, Jacob. Let's start the top row here. Glenn, then Steve. Glenn? <clears throat> Jacob, that's great. I, uh, I was just, because there was no video, I was kind of visualizing in my head and I was feeling a driving open highway kind of a vibe. Um, <laughs> it's just because the song had kind of a flow where the, the it's almost like the, vo the, the, the music flowed ahead of the vocal a little bit, you know what I mean? And then the vocal would kind of have that answer. I was, that's, that's the feeling I always get. I love the guitar uh, sound. It was kind of, I don't know, was that a phaser on the guitar? I wasn't sure. I really thought that was cool. Yeah. Like carbon copy. Was, yeah. Nice. I love the, I love a song where the, uh, with a great title where the, uh, you get to pay off the chorus with the title. You know, and when you did that stop in the tune and we're able to just just have the vocal say cold machine, that was yeah, really nice touch. So great job. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that driving cool. imagery for sure. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're not say you're absolutely amazing, Jacob. Steve then Brad. Steve. Uh Jacob, I really loved that. It was the kind of sound that I can really get into and but I, I having said that, I was trying to work out like who did it remind me of, if anybody, and I hit on to the Tom Petty. I could hear oh, nice. kind of Tom Petty there. <laughs> and uh, it was just brilliant. Thank you. I love Tom Petty. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well said, well said. Well, Jade's our next guest, so we'll give you the last compliment, Jade, right? Because you, you'll be on next. So Brad, then Swilly. Brad? I liked it a lot. I like the way you put it together. It sounds new and modern, but it also sounds like you drew from way back also. You know, someone my age, I know I'm older than you, it reminds me of stuff I even heard as far as back as like the 70s or further back even. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that's the music I uh, I love and I, you know, came up listening to. So uh, I'm, I'm glad Everyone. that comes across. Everyone's going to hear the name Jacob George. You're going to make it, Jacob. So we've got <laughs> Swilly, Swilly, then Scott, then Tim. All right. Hey, I think it sounded awesome. Uh, really good production. Um, uh, uh, catchy hooks, uh, stuff that can help you remember the song. Uh, tons of different references. I, I would feel that that song would fall into all kinds of genres, so it would really make it uh, uh, radio friendly for sure. Well done. Yeah. Nice oh, work. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was it. That was yeah. it. Scotty, then Tim. I'm, I'm definitely going with Steve. Uh, Definitely a, a Tom Petty kind of vibe kicking off to me. And just like the last man had just said, it's very radio worthy, very tasteful. And, and as the other man said as well, I could, I could kick back, take a ride down the road and go, go enjoy maybe a tent in a tent in a cabin or something, man. It was, it was wonderful. Very pleasant. Right on. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> well said, well said. So we've got Tim, then Tejas, and then Jade. The, the gemstone. Tim? Yeah, I, I just want to say that song sucked me right in. Nice. I mean, I got to listening to it and I felt like I was in that same position as what you were singing about. And that's what a great artist does is when they're able to convey a feeling out to the audience, the public, and they can just get latched on to the song and feel that emotion, brother. That's that's gonna be a hit. And I did oh what what Scotty and Steve said. I thought Tom Petty. That's first thing in my head. I I just thought the whole thing was great. You did a great job on that. Thank you guys. Those some serious compliments comparing me to tom petty i mean that's 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 super nice <laughs> and that's what i try to do with every song is uh you know make that connection and try to draw listeners in and you know use imagery and really tell that story that's what it's all about so thank you guys so much very special watch you've got two more compliments you've got tejas and in fact three kirstys come back on camera tejas then kirsty then jade tejas um first of all like amazing amazing you know melodies like i was singing along by the end of it um, Thank you. as mr glenn said um you know you can imagine yourself driving off to the sunset listening to this beat and as others said that uh, it can be heard on the radio 
it's radio friendly but also i think it will be good uh, on in a concert setting i can imagine a crowd mm. singing along and going wild listening to this amazing production amazing voice keep it up mate thank you thank you so much that's one of our favorite ones to play live it's it's a fun one with the band you know lots of breaks and those choruses the call and response yeah that's fun well said well said kirsty then jeet kirsty yeah do you know what? that's exactly what i was going to say to jazz i would love to see you perform live jacob um i want to go to your concert actually no you can come to the uk and oh, we'll yes. come see you <laughs> yeah. for sure thank you yeah, I, no, I, I can't wait I, to hear you live yes Thank you. I hope I hope you guys will have me. That would be great. <laughs> We're ready for you. <laughs> me too. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, Jade, what's, what's your thoughts here, me dear? Love Jacob George Band. Like, he always, every time I hear his music, like, it's always good. It's never disappointed. I'm never disappointed. So, like, Thank everybody you. said, literally, I could piggyback off at what everybody said. Like, excellent like especially like like he said the way you tapped off the hook with the title of the song like like Tajman said with I was singing the song by then with you too like a cold machine like I like it <laughs> I love it thank you thank you likewise likewise always good well seeing said. you thank you well said well said Jacob thanks for being a marvelous guest I hope you can hang around Jade's up next so at least hang around for Jade's I know you're busy in time schedule but I hope you can stay for the rest of the show man Jacob George everyone the Jacob George band fantastic future you have now on we go with the show next is Jade Gemstone from Philadelphia Pennsylvania Jade you're muted dear how are you my wee dear hi yes hi how's everybody doing yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Good to, good to see you here again. Thanks for coming back. And uh, Jade, could you tell everyone uh, who is Jade the Gemstone? What type of musician are you? And I'll ask you about your song in a minute. I am a singer, songwriter, creative. I'll just cap it off of that. I do a lot of things, um, but I love to write music that is inspiring and can encourage people, especially to heal um, cause I just feel like we all individually heal then, and we're all living in like this peace bubble, then technically we're living in peace. So I feel like we could all like heal and by healing it's like, you know, loving yourself more importantly, but I think that that would like really change the world. So that is my goal. That is my mission to, to help change the world. Yeah. Like, yeah. We've got your back here, and, and you're very valued over in uh, Pennsylvania. We love you to bits, Jade. But, so your second song is called Divine Connection. Uh, what's the story behind that, Divine Connection? Divine Connection is, it's more so leaning into uh, the subgenre that I created, which is classic trap gospel. Um, I love trap beats. And I love Jesus, <laughs> but I'm not an R&B singer and I'm not a gospel singer either, but I think that a good message is always important. So this song really leans into the whole classic trap gospel genre. Um, Divine Connection is about that relationship that you have with God and not just the... Um, the relational aspect, the connection, but also the protection that comes with that relationship. Um, so, yeah, I hope everybody likes it. This is actually the first time it's going to be like premiering to everybody. I just dropped the entire EP last night. Um, so this is the first time everybody's going to hear Divine Connection like on this type of platform because I've performed it live, but... I'm excited for you guys to see the lyrical visuals. Jade the Gemstone, your world-class lyricals or lyrics, I swear to God, there's not many that's on your level, I swear, in this world. So if you don't know Jade the Gemstone, enjoy Divine Connection by Jade the Gemstone. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Future tense, 
Vision like vision, yeah Supernatural confirmation Seeing all the signs aligning time Number sequence, you know it's divine Confirmation from a stranger light You should do what you've been thinking This is confirmation Divine connection This connection ain't the same See it from a different angle Protection from a different plane Run up, you're done up by my angels you can think that it's a game Until you see his hand move It's different, no, it ain't the same Stay with the blessings cause I'm grateful Stay with the blessings cause I'm grateful I'm grateful Stay with the blessings cause I'm grateful I'm grateful I can tell when he's been listening Prayers answered, blessings given Favor poured, overflowing Ask for wisdom, I'll be knowing Never lacking Absolutely love it. Love it. I can't wait to see what's what's next for you and, and your career grow. Uh, Tim Consley is the first time to meet there. Tim, what's your thoughts there, brother? Jay, 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 do you know I love you and your music, girl? And we've already established that you and I are brother and sister. We are in the same family. And girl, that 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 was heavy. That was so good. Girl. I felt an impartation out of that girl. That was just that good. And I believe divinely inspired most absolutely. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. For sure. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Love you, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Jacob, then Steve, Jacob. Yeah, that was like, that was really cool. That was like a Beyonce Gregorian chant crossover. Really cool vibe. 
okay. and the visual is really cool too because it it you know it's such a like ethereal feeling song with those chants um and the smoky effect was really cool so i thought that you know lyric videos sometimes look kind of goofy but that one was really cool and it worked that was awesome thank you i appreciate you saying it yeah no worries nice job well said well said so the screen's moving around a bit steve then glenn then swilly jade i thought that was simply beautiful uh and i just want to say you know what, what jacob was saying that basically the it was a, a lyric video and the lyrics kind of fitted against you know the the smokiness you had in the background there so it was like it was very watchable while you were listening you know to what you were singing and it, it was it was as i say it was just beautiful thank you i really appreciate you guys saying that because that took it was it was a project and it was it was a project <laughs> Well, it, it was a project. It was a project that worked. Yes, thank you. I appreciate well, that. Well said, Steve. Well said, Glenn Swelly, then Scotty. Uh, Jade, uh, as Jacob put in the chat, uh, congratulations on the EP. Um, that's thank always you. an achievement um, uh, and an exciting day for you. Um, I love the lyric video. Um, on a funny note, nice choice of font. I thought the font worked really well. Uh, I make lyric <laughs> videos you. too, so that's it's not something to just be. You you have to work at that, right? right. And I, I thought, as as someone else uh, mentioned, that the lyric uh, video, although it's a lyric video, it kind of uh, went beyond just a lyric video. It really was very, as the track was, very hypnotic and worked in in a way that was more than just a lyric video. So well done on that. And the last thing I'll say is I also love trap beats. I love the the uh, dynamic possibilities of it's and it's a perfect example of what you don't notes that you don't play the things that aren't there. So when you subtract, yeah. it brings a lot of power. It's kind of a a reverse a reverse dynamic, uh, and it's yeah. really, really well done. So beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate you saying yeah. that. Yeah. You're welcome. Well said, well said. Swilly, then Tejas, then Scotty, if that's okay. All right. Wow. Hey, uh, man, you got a voice. I um, uh, I would say super important to make sure all your inflections and all that really cool stuff that really draws you into your vocals is paid yeah. attention to. Um, I, I Quick question. Is this your first EP or release? Or this is my first EP, but this is actually the second song, I guess, that's like mm -hmm. being premiered on Top Talent because I have a single out that's called Worthy. Um, so that's out. And I actually like along with the, the entire EP project that I dropped, I dropped all lyrical visuals. So some of them are just lyrics um, and some are like stories in between. Um, but all of them are now released and this is like this this is the second one that's like public oh that's awesome i i just uh, i'd love to hear uh your voice widen a little bit and uh some of that magic that i can see that people would absolutely love um i i think you have massive potential amazing vocalist very clear bang on with your notes um the backup uh vocals that you did again amazing um, super impressed. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate I was, that. Well said, Swelly. I, mean, I think she's just teasing us with her voice now, which she can really do, honestly, wait till you see. Yeah. Tejas, Scotty, then Brad, and then we're on to our next guest, S. Cams. So, Tejas. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, congratulations on the EP release. Thanks. It's always great to put great music out. Um, so, I would like to say I was noting down stuff. So okay. I really like the lyrics, um, deja vu, but in future tense, like that, that stood out to me for some reason. Um, I also like the contrast, like uh, in the beginning, there were angelic ooze and then the um, trap beat comes in, just throwing the listener off guard. You know, I'm not familiar with your music and yeah, it threw me off guard in the best possible way. And I really love the production and your voice. Keep singing. It was incredible. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, That's said. the idea. We want to trap you with the sound. Yep. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Scotty comes then, Brad. Scotty. Love the message behind it. You're definitely a grateful lady of the blessings that you receive. Count your blessings. It's it's definitely in there. And I love how you took the acapella style to your voice and put it to that trap beat. I heard you come in chiming with them, them little hymn like things. And then I hear and them hi hats start to come in and rain. Good way to mix a, a progression and chord melody kind of way to to the, the side of it. It was beautiful. I would have never thought it would have sound so so great. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. This is all God. This is this this entire project. Somebody else mentioned it. Matter of fact, it was Tim. Tim already know like this this whole project, all God. This is all a co-creation from him. Lyrics, melodies, like picking out the the actual beats every aspect when i say ad libs i'm in the i'm in the booth like okay i need um, i need something to go with this and he's literally this is all him so i appreciate you guys saying that like it's a blessing to be a blessing well there's still Thank a couple you. more compliments so brad then trav the poet then s cams if you want to share anything i think you're just coming at the end here and welcome to the show as well port nazim at frank another guest tonight um brad and trav what's your thoughts here finally Really oh, is, yes. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay, Frank. We'll get to you in a wee second, brother. Sorry, dude. Two more compliments here. Brad and then Trav. Sorry, my confusion. I caused that. Brad? <laughs> but she really is blessed. Uh, she's got a voice of an angel. Mm, angel. You. It's not. You sound like an angel that has some soul in the singing. Uh, like the little uh, growl you put in your voice. Enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. The The project is actually called Angel Music because I kind of picture the angels like vibe into it. Like, <laughs> like I always imagine them like vibing like because because it's as beautiful and as sweet as God is like he ain't nothing to play with. Like he 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 people be thinking that it's sweet sometimes. and It's like, yeah, he's sweet, but it's not a game. Like, and I just picture the angels, like God. angels, like they, they like a gang, like they, <laughs> they gangster, like, this is not, this, this is not, this is not that, this is not what you think. Like, and I just love that God has allowed me to like bring all of the elements like that I, that he's in, like allowed me to envision anyway, together, like all of those aspects. So Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Well said, well said. Trav, 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 and then, Trav the port, then we get to S-Cams. Uh, Trav, what was your thoughts here? I have here? to go, guys. Brad, thank you. You've been here all day. One love, brother. I love you, man. I enjoyed Brad, it. Follow. Thank you. That's off the top talent. Hey, come tomorrow if you can, if you get any spare time, the same ticket, get you in here. You know, one love, brother. Cheers, Brad. Enjoy the all rest right, of your day. have a good one. Bye-bye. Nice one. Enjoy dude. it. Nice one. Thank you. Trav DePoint, what's your compliments on your feather, your your fellow faith person, and you know, you love God just as much as Jade. So what's your thoughts, Trav? <laughs> um, yeah, I actually wasn't able to hear it because I this lady came to view my apartment. So I, I muted it. I didn't want to interrupt them, but I want to know what the song was because I already know Jade's voice and her songs are amazing. So I want to hear the song for myself. So I, I want to look it up. Um, so let me know what the song is and then I will I will give you my feedback in here and I will I'll DM it to you. It's okay. called Divine Divine Connection, dude. Beautiful name Divine of the song. Connection. Never okay. forget that. Divine Connection. So Jade, right like, Jade, did you like to say something else here? Yes. Um real quick. So Trav also the I appreciate you saying that. Um but the link for the entire playlist um, for the EP is actually in my bio and Instagram. So if you go there, you can like click on that and you'll be able to listen to all the songs. But Divine Connection is the one that we reviewed today. And I just also want to say real quick that this song was mixed at 639 Hertz. And like the point of that is that it's a it's a it's a frequency that allows you to like 
um, that helps with like communication and harmony and like connections. So like, obviously for obvious reasons, like I chose that particular um, frequency, but like I told you guys before, like, I just want people to heal. And like, and I think that frequencies have a, a potential to help heal, but also the lyrics, you know, and then just the connection that you hopefully develop with God. Like that's, that's the main goal. I just want to encourage people to like really seek that connection. Cause it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll to that. Jade the gemstone, everybody. One love, Jade. Until the next time. Check it out, everyone. Welcome to the show, Jani. Jani's been an absentee the last few shows, but she's back. Nice to see your face again, Miss Alabama. Top down promotions, Alabama, Jani Chambers. Right, so coming up next, S Cams. S Cams, brother, how are you, dude? I'm doing well. No pleasure, man. Could you tell everyone who is S Cams? What type of music do you do, brother? Um, well, I. I started off rapping, but I actually have gotten into country music. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. The song that we're going to review today is, um, is a pop song that I made with a producer friend of mine. You're another, you're another member of the family with a killer beard. There's something about the, the, the beard boys in this Thank family. Thank you. S-Cams, what's the story behind your song, Heart on the Ground? Heart on the Ground is a song about uh, it's a breakup song uh, about a girl who told me that I wasn't the one. I lost. I lost. Oh. Sorry, I thought you were still talking there. So, th so that that was nice and short and sweet. I thought you were going to keep going there. I was doing my multitasking. Oh, sorry. So no, I don't. I thought we were going to review a different song, so I was a little thrown off by that. Are we going to oh. review Heart on the Ground? Yeah, that was the YouTube one. I, 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 sorry if I get mixed up. I've got the YouTube video to play, but I'll bring you on another another show during the week to feature your other song, if that's okay. Sure. It has a heart, heart on the ground I've got on, on video here. Um, yeah, so no, that's yeah. great. It's a breakup story song, and uh, one, one and only S Cams. Get acquainted with his music, Heart on the Ground, S Cams. Well, everybody, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm getting tired. Making <laughs> We've been here before, I can't keep it going Love ain't here no more, gotta keep it moving Last chance, last dance, last avenue Past tense, someone that I was near Forget the look when you told me We weren't meant to be, now I'm lonely I'm not the one, it's all for fun Vacated your crown, left my heart on the ground No love's in doubt, you count me out No turning back now, crush my heart
S cams, ladies and gentlemen. Centino Studios. S cams. Fantastic, brother. Fantastic. So I want to get the first question in. What, what's next for you, bro? What projects are you working on at the moment? Oh, you're muted there, Mark. You're muted, so is everyone. Unmute yourself if you want to get a wee question in here. I'm um, working on some country music now. Nice one, dude. I can't wait to see. You know, you, you look like your average uh, country and western star, honestly. And see when I've seen yeah. the people try, trying to beat you up in your video, I'm like, yeah, that's not real. You, you'd flatten the lot of them, <laughs> wouldn't you? Uh, but yeah, great track, man. Great track. Um, let's go with um, Trav and then Jade. Trav? Um, yeah, and no, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Like it's the 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 vibe of the of the, the track, um, the video matched everything of what you were talking about. Um, we've all gone through what you were talking about, so um, I definitely was feeling it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Absolutely, man. Me too. Jade, what's your thoughts, your dear? Yes, I love the visual, but the music was really good. Like, I really like your lyrics and I like your sound. Like, I heard you say that you were like, you're a rapper, but like, also you do like country music. So I love that, like, that mashup. That's like really cool. And the sound is really dope. Like, I love it. I love it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's something I actually pride myself on is that I, I do multiple genres. Uh huh. Yeah. That's hot. Well said, well said. I bet you're a bouncer at the weekends as well. You should be, dude. You don't even need to do anything. People will just take one look and say, hey, don't, don't mess with whoever you're with, brother, I swear. <laughs> hey, I think, I think you, you look like the toughest man in the family, by far, definitely. And I know that's maybe not a compliment, but I'm a man the way it kind of is, isn't it? So, Frank, Frank, would you like to say something? Frank from Port Nazem. Hey, brother. Yes, hi. I'm on now. Sorry, I had some trouble. I have to apologize first because I'm I'm moving to a new house now that you see with my clothes. They're probably dirty and I'm packing boxes and moving things and feeding cows in between because we're moving to an old farmhouse. So it's a bit trouble time. So I just joined 10 minutes ago. I heard that track and I was quite impressed. I like it. The, the deep groove and this cool laid back vocals. And it's really it's something I really like. I really like. I'm not a very visual type. I listen to music and not don't really care about the visuals, but what I saw, I loved it. I loved it. Go on. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I'm really well, excited to hear the song before that I didn't hear because all the positive comments make me really curious now. So hey brother, you'll get a chance to see it. Absolutely. Um Frank, can I just ask you what your location is at the moment? Where are you, brother? I'm in Italy for the moment. Originally from Germany. I was born in Germany, but lived a long time in the US and Canada. And as things go, um, I met a wife from Italy and we, we're moving to Italy now. So I'm not really on vacation. Means Vacation means I'm working. I'm working to move into that house, to finish the house and moving in. Next week we are settled and then I have more time and also concentrate on making new music and we're building a small studio here. Nice one. So Frank, I know curious. you're new to the family and kirsty has been doing a lot of talks. I was just very curious about, about where you were from Italy. That's great. Tejas, then Steve, what's your thoughts there? Tejas in India? Um, I was really, really impressed by, you know, the production and the voice, like the low end, it was killer. Um, the only artist that I can, you know, compare it to is Lil Nas X. Um, and like, I really love the production and the, the music video. Awesome, awesome stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if I, you know, listen to this song uh, chart up high on the charts, if you get what I mean. Wow. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it charted up the, you know, billboard charts and stuff. It has very mainstream pop appeal to it. Thank you. I appreciate I that. I agree, bro. I agree. Steve, then Tim? Well, I'd just like to uh, actually echo what Teja said, because I, I could hear it as a very professional uh, track there. And it, yeah, I, I could see it being in, in a billboard charts or, 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 or maybe like in a film or, or TV or something. It, it had that, that uh, kind of vibe to it, that, that professionalism. And, and what I mean by that is that the, the song uh, was, as, was as good as, you know, the production, which, and as good as uh, the actual the video, what was going on in the video. It all kind of blended together. It was all on that level. Uh, really, really excellent work. And uh, having said that, I'm going to have to leave you all now. So that's my last comment. But it's been really great being here. 
Steve, thank, thank you. you. You've been with us for six hours, man. Thank you very much. Wow. Love you back, brother. I'll speak to you soon, Damn. mate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Hey, Steve. Steve Andrews. Cheers, brother. Bye, everyone. Bye, bro. So we've got Glenn, then Kelly Bars, then Tim, then our next guest, Swilly. So, Glenn, first of all, please. Uh, yeah, I really love the track, too. I, I thought the... Um... I like the way you tied the visuals, like the metaphor of the lyrics, which just kind of got that heartbreak vibe and the lyric, the visuals are kind of really reflected that in a really clever way. Um, I also really felt the, the pain of the, of the heartbreak aspect, which um, you mentioned you're also right country music. So I, I, obviously you're familiar with heartbreak and you'll be writing more about it. Um, so yeah, that's, that was really cool. And I thought that came across really uh, in a really great way you know a lot of times songs like that can come be and come across as angry people kind of default to an angry delivery but you just kind of kept it kept it kind of kept it with almost internalized but sh you shared it with you're sharing it with the audience if that makes sense yeah great yeah. stuff thank you i well appreciate said, that uh, well said. scott tim then smelly scott Yes, I absolutely agree with, with, with most of the people. I see it in charts. I see it topping some music charts. And, and it, the, the production all together, well engineered. Thank you. Well said. You have a great team that I'm working with. Yeah, bro, you're, you're special, man. You're special. You're a busy guy. You're touring and all the rest of it. You just stopped the tour. Riffmaster and Swilly. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That was just a professional, professional project all the way around. I mean, from the video to the music. And man, your your voice, I, when you started, I, I had not heard any of your music before. When you started, it was not what I expected, but it was a, a lot, lot, lot more than what I expected. I mean, I thought... I thought your voice was just as professional and as polished as it could be. Great job. Thank you. That means a lot. Incredible. Thank you. Well said, well said. Swilly, Steve Swilly. Again, I'm going to say um, what a great uh, commercial ready um, song. I could easily see that being utilized in uh, movies or anything that uh, someone's looking to draw emotion out. Um, lots of work on that video. Um, uh, I, videos are a ton of work. Everything is like a whole new job. And, and, uh, I think you did a great job there, uh, really brought you in and, uh, you couldn't help but watch it. Well done. Way to go. Thanks. You know, well said, well said. S comes. Thanks for, uh, been a marvelous guest, man. And this is, let's bring all your tracks on here. Right? Come on, every. Uh, this is a festival, but I'm doing the 1010 podcast every day of the week, starting Tuesday. Once a month, we're going to do a festival, but I might organise it a bit better the next time. Like 10 minutes each, just 15 minutes. We're like forcing people to talk for too long and stuff like that. But thanks for coming. I almost got you perfect in time. S cams, everyone. Until the next time. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank Can I ask one thing? What's your name, S cams? Your first name? Like my, my actual name is yeah. Kent. Kent. Yeah, thank you, man. Marky Sparky. S comes, everybody. Cheers, bud. Cheers, cheers. Thank you. On to our next guest is Mr. Swilly. Swilly, how are you, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised by all this. I, I um, uh, wasn't expecting how this all works. So uh, great work, everybody. Wow. Did 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 we're just winging it? We're just we're just we're just going with the flow and see if we can do it and we can do it. So could you introduce yourself? Who is Swilly? What do you do and what type of music? And then I'll ask you about a song. I'll see it in the song. Okay. So uh Swilly is uh basically we're kind of spread all around uh, North America. We do everything uh via the internet. Uh so there's four or five guys and uh everybody contributes. I typically will write um uh, the beginning of the song and the structure. And then everybody adds their parts thereafter. So uh, we actually haven't all played together a lot. We're basically an internet band. We do it for fun. And uh, I love meeting all the different artists out there, like everybody that's here. And, yeah. and there's a lot of amazing talent. So, uh, yeah, that's us in bro, a nutshell. Bro, you take one look at you and you can just tell you're fully fun and you're just such a nice guy. Like that big smiley's got. Smelly. My life is a shit show. 
yeah, I feel you, I feel you. What's your song, More Than I Can Hold, about? Right? What's that all about? And then I'll let everyone get acquainted. Yeah. I, I'm, we were just having a lot of fun. Um, uh, some of the older artists will probably recognize who we're kind of bringing in. And, and uh, we brought in different artists, uh, kind of, you know, mimicking them in a way kind of having fun with it and uh the song itself is just basically you know careful what you wish for because often you can't really control all the things that you have so that's it basically without further ado let's go for it swelly and his song more than i can hold absolute brilliant you'll be grinning from ear to ear here one love everyone
fantastic, man. What a, what a track. Thanks. Absolutely awesome. So, yeah, what's up next for you, dude? Oh man, we're well. We're just finishing our Christmas album, so it's been a great summer recording that stuff. Um, that's about it. We're just always recording, just having fun. Hey, Good times. Right. We'll see what's next year. <laughs> Fantastic, Scott Cadens. What's your thoughts there? Love the uh, love the fact that you could collab so well between each other. You you've not met each other, or what? Uh, no, I, I've met uh, several of the artists in person. I The, the lead guitarist, I have been playing with him since I was about uh, 10. <laughs> we, we were in jazz together in uh, elementary school. Yeah. Okay, very impressive, though, that you could get along so well and collaborate and elaborate over everything you need to be doing to get these things accomplished, man. You should give yourself a pat on the back and be very proud. Very, very good production. Thank you. Well, he's not got 7,000 followers for nothing on, on, on YouTube. That's very hard to get. So we've got Glenn, Tejas, Tim, then our next guest, Port Nazem. So Glenn, then Tejas, then Tim. <clears throat> yeah, great track, great production, definitely. Um, I was I'm, like the sort of the rhythm track of it. I was getting a police vibe from it. I don't yeah. know why, but maybe Nailed it was it. that. Uh, yeah, maybe it was the, the guitar, I think, was kind of giving it knew that Andy Summers thing. Um, yeah, great song. Tons, tons of great dynamics. Uh, nice arrangement. Yeah, top notch. Absolutely Thank great. Thank you. Yeah. Well said, well said. Tejas, then Tim. Tejas? Um, really amazing track. I was just typing stuff down, what to say. Um, I really like the multi-layered vocals. Uh, they really added the, you know, made the vocals really full. And I really enjoyed, like, it, it sounded older, but also newer with the doo -doo -doo -doo, the muted guitars. They were pretty amazing. Uh, the guitar solo, it was great. The guitar tune was amazing. Um, and the visuals, uh, the, the video was amazing as well. And what I really liked was uh, the different stops in the track. Uh, they were really unpredictable for me. And they really, you know, grabbed me in and hooked me up so pretty amazing song keep it up guys thank you it's very kind well said well said well said so tim and then port nazim tim yeah i really like the music that's 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 some good stuff there um i thought the not only was the music great i thought the visuals in the video went along well with it like like the part with the moon just slowly ascending up into the sky i mean i i just thought the whole thing was just just spot on you did a great job with it thank you again very kind well said well said what you want to say frank you want you want to say something before we get to your section brother yeah, let me say something about the song because it really, I had to smile. I saw this probably on the screen and I, and I typed down some notes because it's it's a bit of a music I grew up with in my teens. You can see from my hair color that I'm not 25, I'm a bit older. So they had this killing, joking, psychedelic first vibe in the back. So really what I really like, but to combine this into something unique, not copying this, but I really brought back some things like known feelings. I like it, really like it. I like it with a fatter production, but it has some, some late, mid, late 80s vibe in it. I really like it. Yeah, Absolutely. we be old. <laughs> we, 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 uh, our stuff, we go all over the place and uh, we just do something because we like it. And uh, that that's it. So thank you. Well said, well said, well said. I'm just going to let everyone know something now. We're going to shut the podcast an hour early because it's just a little bit confusing towards the end. There's three or four acts. I'm going to ask them to come at any time tomorrow. But we've still got, we've got Port Nazem, then Crash World, then Berserk, then Sano Hill. And then unfortunately, because I'm falling asleep on the job as well, we're going to just offer the other four people any time tomorrow and they can crash it. So... Thanks for being a wonderful guest there, Swelly, bro. Thank you. Till the next time, dude. Hanging out to the end of the show. Coming up next is Frank from Italy, Port Nazem. Hi, Frank. Hi, 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 hi. Hi there. 
Let me put this first. This is not a real representative song of what we do because it's really, we started off as a power trio like 11, 12 years ago. I made with a bass player that I made music with for, for I think 30 years now. Yeah, it's 30 years now that we're doing music together. And we had the limitation of the power trio. We just wanted to be a band and do everything with three people, very busy, trying to put everything on stage, creating a fat sound. And that it worked, it was right in the underground alternative vibe, I would say, somewhere between indie and 80s alternative. But um, since I told this before, I'm moving to Italy now, I had to change this because, of course, the band doesn't exist anymore. We turned this more into a project now, which is quite more in a direction that is, I would say, a balance between heavy riving and progressive music because I have a lot of people who work with me now, violin, buzuki, keyboard, zeta, um, oud. We have a lot of things going on. So it's it's more complex what we do now. But I picked this song that you hear now because it's a pleasant indie song, like an indie pop song, I would say. Quite short, not even three minutes long and dripping with irony because I wrote this when I was younger. So about a a passionate love story that turns into a two night stand in the end and everybody being frustrated in the end, but you can still smile about this. And it's still a strange thing about with the mixed vocals, female, male, it's still a bit of a crowd pleaser between all the heavy things that we do otherwise, the heavy lyrics and this seven, eight, 16, four sounds that we do and the layered guitars and layered keyboards. This is really easy, just 12 string guitar, six string guitar, vocals, um, a short guitar solo that is really easy to digest. And I have to say that um, in the end, um, when we play live, it's the most successful song still. We haven't played live for two years, by the way, since COVID, this is the next thing that will come for the, I would say, at least for, for the beginning of the winter, when we can play indoors again here in Italy. So I have to find out, sort everything out. Yeah, hurry up there, Daisy. Listen, Frank, what the song, the song is Brown Eyes. It's by your band, Port Nazem. What a talented bunch you are. If you're not acquainted with the music yet, Port Nazem, Brown Eyes. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. One love. Is she had a lack of medicine's runner. Then she came Tuesday. Then she came Tuesday. And left me Friday night. She ran a letter through my brain. She sucked my mind out. And ripped my soul out. And left me Friday night.
newest, one of the newest members of the family. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't wait to see what's next, and I can't wait to get on the live scene again, get, get a video recorder, get someone videoing you. Tim, the Riffmaster, what's your thoughts there? Tim and then Glenn. Oh, man. I just loved it, loved it, loved it. I love anything that's guitar-driven like that song was. I thought it sounded great. Uh, I love the uh, the aspect of ha having the male versus female voice in the song. I thought that worked out well. The guitars were just, there were times that they were just kind of smooth and times that, man, they got on the grungy side. Just excited me. I loved the song. Good job. Thank you. Well said, Tim. Well said. And Tim will be your biggest fan tomorrow, I'll tell you. Hey, oh, Glenn, I've, already, I've already got them uh, followed and everything. So Faster than me, I know you. <laughs> Glenn and then Spilly. Glenn. Oh, I loved it too. Uh, really, I don't know. I don't know. I hope this is cool, but it really gave me a Stranglers vibe. I was right away. I was like, "Oh man, this is cool." Uh, just the way the the instrumentation was. Uh, I loved as well. I loved when the that kind of major chord stab would kind of da 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 da, and that that just continued to set the song up, uh, kind of over and over again. And then when you introduced the the male and the female vocal, I I agree with with Tim. It was uh, yeah, really really great. I would I would definitely hear want to hear that one again. Well said, well said, well said. Scotty, what's your thoughts up there, man, Mr. Ohio? I love it. it. It kept me back then, but it also brought me to now with the just the original groove and riff and the way he had a little bit of hardcore tune in with that little lovely classic rock strum. So it, it's beautiful all together. Great productions. Well said, well said, well said. Trav, you want to say something? Have you unmuted yourself, brother? I don't know if he has. He's not. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Berserk, would you like to say something before you say, uh, Trav's here? Trav, what's your thoughts? No, I, I was I was doing that to show that I was back. Yeah, I, I just came back. Another person came by the view. All right, no worries, brother, no worries. Uh, Eric, Berserk, would you like to say something before we get to your section, my bro? What's your thoughts here? Oh, you stopped. Hey, what's Eric? up? Hey, dude. Hey, it was cool. I liked it. I didn't get to hear much of it. I was kind of fighting with my kids real quick, <laughs> trying to set this up. You've, you've been here for hours. I've seen you. But yeah, man, what's your thoughts on, on Port Nazem? Yeah, awesome, man. Oh, I didn't get to hear most of it, but what I heard, it was cool. That's like, I, I just, I was fighting with my kids, <laughs> trying to set set up right now. I feel you, I feel you. Sorry so Frank, that. Frank, thanks for being a wonderful guest, dude. Let's get you on the 1010 podcast, which is much quicker format. It's only 10, you know, artists, and, and it's coming every day after Tuesday. So, uh, Frank and his, his Port Nazem, everybody. Wonderful, Frank. Thank you. Can't wait to see what's next. So, we've got two artists left. We've got Berserk, and we're going to end the show with the, with the beautiful silver and black beard. All right, Glenn? So, Berserk, right. Berserk could you um, introduce us? Who is Berserk? What type of music do you do, brother? Um, I guess like hip hop, R&B, whatever in that area. I just create just because I love doing it. Been doing it forever. So I try. I just took a break, and that's what this song I think you're gonna play is. Uh, Refresh. I took a break for the first time for like three months recently, and I just a couple weeks ago maybe started back up, and that was like I made everything on that one just on the iPad. I even use the, the the AirPods to uh to mix it. So it's it's a song from SoundCloud, so it's going to be great audio. There's no video uh, along with this one, but it, do you know Berserk was uh, like a masked? Um, he had his face for years as a rapper, and and he unmasked himself in one of our shows, and uh, it was it was quite great to see. Uh, they talk about beards, hey, Berserk's probably got the, the biggest. <laughs> Everyone, so uh, we need to make a, a beard gang. So we do. Uh, Berserk and his song Refresh, everybody. Sit back and enjoy one love. This guy's unique. There's only one berserk. We love you, brother. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Is it playing? How does it play? Why is it not playing? 
I saw the music, so I'll start the back again. Maybe later. First time I've heard that, man. Absolutely. Class, brother. Class, man. You're muted there, my dude. Let's let us let the fellow rapper get in there first. Right? We'll say Scotty, then Glenn. Scotty, what was your thoughts there, brother? Man, I'm always impressed with his style and lyricisms. I, I love the hell out of his music when I hear something new because he's got such an exquisite freestyle and off-bar off melody rhyming scheme, man, that... It, Everything fits to a piece with such an intellect. And that's what I love about Berserk, man. Very well done, brother. Very unique. I appreciate that. And I'm happy that it's noticed, <laughs> like how I piece it all together. You know what I mean? I mean, it's all, it's all about timing. And uh, I don't know. I just try to keep that melody, try to keep the feel. It's more of the feel that I, I go for, though, for the most part, trying to express what I... Uh, so you can feel what I'm feeling kind of when I'm in the mix and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of, but. Emotions in the body and mind, man. As well yeah, as yeah. So, it's cool that you notice how I piece it together. That's what's up. I think you lads should do something as well. You know, the fellow rappers and the fans, you need to do stuff together. You know, you just need to, absolutely need to. Glenn, what's your thoughts there, dude? Glenn and Tim, the riff master. Yeah, yeah. I really, uh, really dug it too. I, uh, the way the vocals, you, you kind of uh, have different uh, rhythmic schemes going on with your delivery, and it's kind of like grooves within grooves. I really, uh, really picked up on that and dug that. And the I know, I know refrain was kind of giving me a, a like, it felt like it uh, was like the voice in your head kind of talking to you, you know, and you were just kind of like, we all have that. <laughs> kind of like was, hypnotized. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're just telling yourself, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's just, I, I'm not sure if that's what the lyric was, the entire lyric was, but that was what it was given me. And sometimes what what the listener takes from it is really important, even if it's, right. you know, a little bit off the track of what you're trying to do. Because once you once we give our music to people, it's theirs to, to experience, right? So, yeah, yeah. Really, really and that's what I'm that. trying to do is get you to, like, uh, actually... Um, get your own feel out of it but in multiple like i write the way i write and the way i piece things together is like for multiple people with different like the way they think and the way they feel i'd hope that they could all put two together and get the feel yeah. out of them you know what i mean so, yeah yeah well you're getting it man you're doing it it's good it's it's happening that's, that's yeah. cool yeah, I, and, and I and I know it could sound better. It was just I did this on the iPad. I just posted it. I haven't really mastered it. Oh, it sounds great. Yeah, hey, hey, well done. Don't even master. Yeah, and I love I love your. Uh, that's the gorilla way to do it, right? So yeah, good. On yeah, you. I mean, I'm just like I try to tr I try to prove to people like you don't have to have all this crazy equipment and all that. I mean, you just gotta feel it. You gotta yeah. You got you gotta be confident. You know what I mean? Like it's not. You just got to keep fighting for, for what you want. And with music, that's like the only way to do it is doing it raw. Because yeah. everybody tries to use all these crazy effects, you know, like all these uh, expensive mics. I mean, it's nice. Yes, of course. But I'm just showing people like you don't really need all that stuff. You just kind of do your thing and love doing it and it'll show. Yeah. Great question. Great answer. Tim, then Trav, then Important as Frank, Tim? Yeah, I totally agree with you that you don't have to have expensive equipment and all the bells and whistles to, to record with. I've got the very simplest, uh, most inexpensive of stuff that I do all my recording with, and uh, it works. Yeah. And I thought, I thought yours sounded just as good as if you were – you spent all the money to be in a studio when somebody done it. I thought it sounded just as good. Thank and, you. And unique. You, you have a very unique style that's different from other people. And you can tell by listening to you who it is because that, that, that sound and that feel and that flow, that's you. That's yeah. that's you yeah. can that's, that's the goal. you conveying yourself out through the music. Right. So awesome job. Awesome. Thank job. you. And that's like three days of work. I made the beat, I wrote it, mixed it in three like three days, you know, like from nothing mm -hmm. to that, like just so awesome. cool. It's been awesome hearing that, hearing what you had to say. It's very, very nice. Well said, well said. Trav, then Frank. Trav. Yeah, I was just going to echo uh, some of the things that Tim said. Um, I like your uniqueness, um, that you are a complete artist, meaning like you know, a lot of some people who rap, like they um, they don't really contribute to the, the the production aspect of it. But, you know, you, you put together all of that and, and it was able to flow even, even more nicely. Like you weren't just ripping YouTube beats, you know, um, there's there's a place for that, but I like, I really like when when artists um, can be a part of the whole process. So I really appreciated that, and just it just showed in the whole song the way just way just to gel, the way you flowed over it, the words you were saying. Um, it just was you, and um, I I appreciate what you what you what you did what you offered. Thank you. And hey, you know what? Like it relates kind of to your music. I heard your music earlier. I was I was in the podcast and uh, the positivity and all that right. stuff. Like that's basically what I'm talking about right. as well. But I put grind in it. You know what I mean? Kind right, of right, right. trying to keep it relatable, but right. in a positive mind state. Right. Yeah. So that's cool, man. Like I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate you saying that because, I, you know, we relate in a lot of ways as well. I yes, feel sir. like. Yes, sir. Both awesome talents again, hook each other up, guys. You know, uh, Frank, what's your thoughts on Berserk here, dude? I say it's it's quite far from what I normally listen to. I have to be honest, that's and that, that's that's the good thing about this because music, two things are elemental for me that is, music has to be has to surprise me and has to be positively disturbing. 
and both is there yeah. because I have to see that it's really yeah. good. The laid back vocals and then this, 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 the chorus with the with the steady drum beat going under this and the the creeping vocal, the creep into your ears in the chorus. This is something where this is positively disturbing because I still have it in my head. I have to be honest, but it's far from what I normally listen to, but I really like it. I really like the way it's it's creeping into the brain. I, I have no words to to put it differently from this, but it's really something that that sticks. Not like an earworm, something more on a psychological level. I love I love it. I love it. Yeah, That's yeah. I'm like, a, I'm like a mental what you fiend. Do. I'm like a mental fiend. So that kind of it's cool you saying that because like I do think a lot and I think out everything in a sense like. For the most part, it's all thought out. It's just a lot of years of being thought out all into like, it, it all just keeps coming together. Tightens up all the, for the past 10, 15 years. So it's like, I try to keep it original. So I step back and I make my own beats and I do that for a minute just to get the, all the original feel. But like, that's all psychological. And so like you kicking up on that, that's kind of amazing to me. I can really relate to this, really. It's something I would definitely check out more. So we have to hook up. Absolutely. I'll make sure he's are hooked up. I'll make sure of it. Everybody, <laughs> Berserk, you're a legend. You've been with, you've been, I think the first week Kirsty and I met and started promoting music, you, you joined us and, and you've never gave up your faith. And we love you, man. You're one of, the, one of our favorites and you're one of the best rappers around, man. So, to Berserk. You got my love, too. Hey, man. Straight love, up. Love, Appreciate love, you all. So our final act of tonight is Crash World. Uh, Glenn McLeod, could you introduce yourself with that sexy beard, brother? Who is Glenn McLeod and what is your, your Crash World project about? Give us a explanation. Um, so Crash World is, uh, yeah, it's a, I, I played in rock bands and big bands and whatnot, like, like bands with lots of gear for like all my life and played electric guitar primarily. And Crash World was a... I quit the last band I was in that was doing that. And I kind of just felt like I needed to do something else and wanted a new kind of challenge. So uh, th this kind of came about. Actually, I was at a Nick Cave show and Mark Lanigan uh, was opening uh, just with Jeff Fielder on guitar. And I was in the front of this theater and the two of them were playing and they were doing uh he had an album out at the time that was a lot of cover tunes and they were playing like Mac the Knife and You Only Live Twice and it was just so intimate in this big theater full of people. And it was really cool, really kind of resonated with me. So I got in touch with a former singer and hatched this idea of what about doing something that wasn't about being in the studio all the time. It was more about being in front of people and really intimate, you know, eyeball to eyeball and playing something like that was different. So acoustic guitar, there's nowhere to hide. It was, it's a big challenge because I've, it's, we've been performing just as a duo. So uh, you know, you, I got to be everything. I got to be the drums. I got to be everything. So, and then, so uh, we took on a lot of covers that we never played before, genres we never played before, like jazz and uh, real blues and that kind of thing. Did songs from the last hundred years. Let all that infuse the writing I did. Then started to write. So, Crash World, the record, shameless plug here, but we we made our record it's called "So the Story Goes." Um, it has a lot. It covers a lot of ground, genre wise. And that's where we're proud of that. Like everybody, who, several other people have mentioned that too. Um, and the other thing about it was the question was going to be always, are we going to do this acoustically or are we going to flesh this out with a band? We decided to flesh it out. So I kind of made the record I'd always wanted to make. And it reflects a lot of on the music that I grew up with as a kid that influenced me when I was younger. So I wanted strings. I wanted strings. I wanted horns. I wanted all that stuff. I love Paul Buckmaster, those old string arrangements on Elton John and Rolling Stones, Kinks, you know, all that kind of stuff, those T-Rex, all that great stuff he did. So um, anyway, that's a lot of talk, but that's basically what Crash World is. The song, I know everybody's tired. Tom, um, lucky One, Lucky One. What's this? What's yeah, it, why, I'll tell what did you. you make Lucky One? Yeah, but... So Lucky One is about, uh, it's kind of that, it's about, it reflects on the person that we've all known at various times in our life. It probably started when we were in school. You know, that guy that you'd look at you, you or that girl and they looked like they had it all going on. They seemed like they were the most popular person ever and life was super easy for them. And, you know, what's the deal with that? And, you know, we all aspire to that. And, 
And then and that can, it does carry on later into life uh, in the music world too, because no matter how great or bad we think we have it, you can always look to someone else and go, man, they're happening. That's, they got it going on. And how did they do that? How did they get there? Um, and then the other aspect of lucky one is uh, what happens to that person? You know, like nobody cruises their entire life. So if it looks like they're cruising when they're young, what happens to them later? Um, you never, you, maybe you know, maybe you don't. But anyway, that's basically what Lucky One reflects on. Those are the questions it asks. You always hear the people's ups. You don't really hear about their downs, don't you know? You always see their ups right. and downs. Right. But everyone's yeah. lives are of course, there, isn't it? Ups that's what Facebook's for. Yeah, man. The, the, yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never spent any time whatsoever in the newsfeed being nosy with other people. I don't have time to do it. Yeah, me but, but but as what most people do, they're just it's unhealthy that. But let's let's get acquainted with your music. You're a very welcome um, addition to the family. Crash World with Lucky One, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. One love. Hotel isolation. Will they send your mail Hiding up like a criminal With dogs on your trail You've been a passenger Taking a free ride Getting by on good luck Rules don't apply touch of class But these days your mirror is the bottom of a glass You grow up a loner You were ward of the state Bouncer
There goes the lucky one Most likely to succeed Play with the loaded gun Lucky one. Well done, Glenn. You should be very, very proud of that song. Um, I've just got one little announcement to make. Um, if Sano Hill's microphone can uh, be turned on, your, your mic's not connected. There's going to be one more guest. I can't let Sano down. I've promised him for a long time now. So that was fantastic. Let's go with Port Nazem first. Port Nazem, Frankie boy. Completely different from the track before. That's really talking about contrast. That's what I like here. Yeah? Let, let's make a positive thing at the beginning. I think there was, apart from the very lush and rich arrangement that I like with the strings and with the layered guitars, I, I like it. And the vocals in the front, I like that they were not so far in the front as they normally are with that kind of music. And you didn't run it through auto tune. No? This is good. <laughs> this is good because oh, yeah. they, are, they, they have this kind of roughness against this, this heartfelt lyrics, against this more traditional arrangement a bit of roughness and the sweetness of the vocals. That's what I like. Because, you know, today, yeah. um, even Frank Sinatra's music wouldn't be released like this. They would they'd run it through auto-tune and it would sound completely boring. <laughs> it was something yeah. that they, Gordon Gaynor or Frank Sinatra, you have many examples of people who would never be able to say, allowed to sing today like they are. They would be sent through a thousand auto-tune programs and it would sound boring. And I would say this was really... And this is the positive thing, authentic, because I received the same comments for my music. There are some intonation problems. I said, yes, they are. And I kept them in. No? <laughs> not, not, there are no intonation problems, but the, the voice is, is a bit rough. And that's what I like. The smooth yeah. country feel in the music and this, this roughness in the voice that makes it more, not more, makes it believable, feelable what you're singing. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. I love it. I love it. What a beautiful comment. Thank you very much. Scott Cairns and Tim Conzi. As well as, well as he was saying, I, I love the authenticity and the fact that you kept a rough, rock, rugged, raw vocal to it all and an originality that you didn't auto-tune it. I don't believe in auto-tune unless it's absolutely necessary. On top of it, the message alone is sometimes... We, we, we tend to pay attention to those who, who, who take off and get everything they need in their life. And we want to get to see that level and be in that business. But us as individuals lack to realize where those people went when we stopped paying attention. And it's just a beautiful message altogether you have in that. Right on. Thank you. Yeah, that's very true what you're saying. Absolutely. Well said, well said, well said. Tim, Trav, and then we've got a, a, a final last guest of the evening, Sano. I Sano, we're nearly running out of time, but we'll, we can't, we can't, I can't let Sano hold down. I, I, I owe you too much, brother, so we're, we're doing one more. So Trav, Trav, would you like to say something? Tim and then Trav, I'm sorry, I'm causing confusion. Yeah, I just thought the song was just very authentic. I loved the uh, harmony in it. I loved the guitar playing in it it just like i said authentic is the word for it thank you well said well said so trav what would you like to say and i'd like to welcome zeta to the show as well zeta thanks for for coming and, and thanks for building all, all the the posters you've done during the week and stuff like that yeah, yeah. thank you, and, uh, thank you. I'm a guest tomorrow yeah. so i can't wait to can't wait to feature you yourself so trav what, what's your thoughts on and crash world yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, it was a, it was a beautiful record. Um, you know, like everyone said, the authenticity from um, the guitar playing, the singing, um, the message, um, you know, you know, the lucky ones and just going the, the behind the scenes of all of that and just the, the trials and tribulations that people actually face. Um, yeah, it was it was it was a phenomenal record. Thank you. 
One thing I'd say about the video um, was the uh, rather like the person that made the video suggested that we perhaps uh, shoot it from the point of view of an old guy sitting at a bar reflecting on his past. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to. The reason the shot, the, like the little boy is running along and looking at uh, items, it, be, it was the idea is that those are items of a possible future for a for someone so you're looking ahead rather than looking back i thought that was really important and we never wanted to show the the boy's face because it could be anybody right it's supposed to sort of represent a, just a child so um yeah that was uh that was a that's part of the trying to keep it positive like uh, many of many of our fellow artists today have done great answer dude. great answer kirsty what's your thoughts before we get to the, the final uh, artist of the day kirsty yeah, I was going to say, Glenn, um, that video uh, took me on like a little journey. I love it when videos, music videos show like a story and you can kind of use your imagination. So well done for the video. I thought that was fantastic uh, to add to Thank that you. track. Mm. Thank you, Christy. No problem. Thanks for being a marvellous guest, Glenn. You've been on the show for about three or four hours yourself, brother. Thanks very much. And Crash World, everyone. Glenn McLeod, value member yeah. of the family. I well, love you. And, and Sparky, uh, uh, well done to you for being such a... Uh, you're, you're doing a marathon uh, thing here, so uh, we all appreciate it. Bro. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Another 32 artists tomorrow. So uh, we actually think <laughs> artists today who weren't even planned so we're going to have to sign on what is 32 I think I'm not sure but yeah I appreciate that dude I'm just getting started you're going to see a lot more of these shows and festivals so thanks Glenn cheers brother Sano Hill coming yeah. up next hey Sano how's things brother good Sparky Grace great to finally meet you and to speak with you and uh, my apologies I couldn't join earlier I know you've had a fantastic array of musicians all day and you must be absolutely exhausted if you've been going since 12 o'clock yourself Kirsty, and many of the musicians have been with you so I'm really sorry I couldn't be with you um, for, for earlier on I had family obligations today but uh, thank you for squeezing me in at the end I know dude, dude. Uh, there's another eight hours tomorrow and we've done four hours gosh. last night and I think I just need to organize it better see to be honest 15 minute sections is a tad too much if it's 10 minute sections it's it's, it's sweet I'm going to book six an hour from now on because 15 minutes is yeah if we run out of time it's just hey first time but we've done great everyone showed up absolutely love it could you tell us who you are as an artist? What type of music do you do? Sean? Sean Crossan, a.k.a. Sano Hill. Sano Hill. So, yeah, my background is uh, rock, I guess, uh, folk rock. Um, my I've been writing music for all well, my life, I guess, more or less. And the songs are kind of, I, I guess, like a lot of musicians, you're writing from what you know, from who you know, your experiences in life. And working from various different influences, I've had mostly rock, folk rock influences. Uh, early influences were Van Morrison, U2, uh, Radiohead, um, Nick Cave. So I, I have a, kind of a lot of different influences that have fed into my sound, I guess, over the years. And just trying to find a, a form or a sound that can best carry the ideas that I'm trying to develop in my music and in my writing. Hey, dude, you're fantastic. And I hope you can get on my line. To... What's the story behind the song The Climb? The Climb, we're going to feature so the that. Climb is the, yeah. That was my first single, which I released in January. Now, I, I had released some stuff on compilation, kind of indie compilations before that. But that was my first single, which only was released last January. It's a song I've been working with for a long time and have been rewriting and reworking. It's a, it's a song began as, I suppose, a song of seduction, a love song of sorts, but became something much larger than that over time and it's c responding to i guess partly what we've all lived through the extraordinary couple of years we've had the kind of challenges environmental challenges uh challenges to our own survival as a species i guess in a way yeah. but also informed by poetry by the work of william blake uh and a poem that he wrote uh, called the everlasting gospel, which part of which is integrated into the song as well. So there's a there's a lot of kind of influences in there. So um, hopefully it 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 carries and there's people can connect with it. It's a fantastic song, dude. Without further ado, let's get acquainted with Sano Hill. If you've not already heard his music, you're going to love it. Hey, 
This is the claim. Thanks, Sparky. The man's Channel Hill. Love. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Imagination, the lover shall send to the thief. Soon we'll have a love that's ancient. She's sad with a sense of relief. What do you mean? He'll never be happy. What do you mean? Don't understand it. Come on, come on. Come with me now. Come on, come on. Take my hand and we'll climb Over the hill now Run down to the valley below Get drunk on the wine of inspiration And dance on till the embers glow Morning blushed, fiery red, the ground groaned beneath, and the children ate the dust for meat. Sit down, sit down just for a while with me now. Tell me all your sacred dreams, and those who cannot love but hate, how oh, they'll be beggars at lovers' games. Sano, your camera's off. Um, just for the article, it won't show you unless your camera's on. Scotty Cairns, what's your thoughts first? Scott? I absolutely love the message behind the good, good songwriting, good storytelling. And he gave off, a, to me, such such a, a, a U2 vibe. So yeah, very, man. very well done. We're going to have to be pro. He's actually just left by accident. So just get the compliments in. Hopefully he'll come back in time. But yes, Scott, I fully agree with that. Um, 
Frank, what was your thoughts there, just for the article's sake at least? Sano's away, but what's your thoughts there? What a great track. I, I love it, I love it. First I said that I like um, to be surprised and positively disturbed by music, but it was also like his pain pain and emotion and pain and there was really something you could hear the, the pain and the the suffering in the vocals but i mean in a positive way because it was really expressive really expressive the way the singing without being over the top but really just deep emotion in that voice and that's what i like I like the strength and the the strain in the voice when the pain comes out i love it i love it i love the acoustic guitars i love the featuring on the on the low strings i love it Really love well, it. There you go, Frank. Well said, dude. Well said. Glenn, what's your thoughts there for, for Sano? You'll hear it on the recording. Glenn? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really like it too. I like a lot of great guitar tones in the song. Um, I really appreciated that. I, I was kind of picking up on uh, more, less stylistically perhaps, but more in the vibe that was, I got that Nick Cave thing that he mentioned as an influence and, and maybe it was the trees and stuff in the video, but, but it was, yeah, uh, it was a great song. I really enjoyed it too. And I felt it was, you could feel the pain as, uh, as Frank said. Yeah, hats off to you. Hats off to you, Sano. Zita, what was your thoughts there, dear? Uh, the song was actually amazing. You know, it's a, uh... The, the the vibe I get, I, I I you know, I actually was actually feeling his pain, you know, through through the music. So it's amazing. It's amazing. It's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There you go, Sano. You've got another new fan. Trav and then Kirsty and then my best friend in the whole world, Tim, with the last compliment. Trav. Yeah, I I love <clears throat> I love how um love the drive of the track. Um just how the production the guitars all mesh together uh, with the voice and like everyone's saying, you can you can feel his pain and the struggle and um, that's what drew me in. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Well said, well said. He's just actually come back. So he's going to hear the last couple of uh, comments. I'll just talk for a second to let him get back in here. Um, can I just add that um, everyone's saying well done to us for organising this. Mr. Tim Consley sat the security the full time last night tonight. He, he's been up since the very start as well, but he started from four o'clock in the morning, his end. So let's hear it for Tim Consley. And Sean, can you hear us? We continued with the compliments, so you're going to hear them. Um, we've got two left, Kirsty and Tim. Kirsty, make it a nice one. you never heard the rest of them, but you, you will hear them in the recording. Kirsty? Hello. What was your thoughts on that amazing track? Yeah, do you know what? Um, that music video was absolutely outstanding. Um, how did you, whose idea was it? How did you put that music video together? First, my, my sincere apologies. I'm having appalling connection difficulties here. I'm out in rural Ireland at the moment. And if you're familiar with rural Ireland, you may know broadband yeah. is uh, a long, long way from where we should be. So um, and my apologies for disconnecting there on that. Um, yeah, so the video, I have to thank uh, Elle, Elle Putnam. She's an extraordinary video artist and I collaborated with her on this. So a lot of it's her uh, in terms of the, 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 the visual transitions and that. Uh, and the editing is, is, is her work. And she brought this extraordinary kind of uh, vision to it in terms of realizing. I had, there's a number of ideas I was playing with. So I mentioned William Blake, the poet. So he's also an extraordinary artist. So some of his images are integrated into it, into the video. Um, there's obviously some of me in there. And we were shooting in a, in a small kind of deserted um, cottage where Elle's actually building her, her, her home at the moment. But at that time it was deserted and we just shot at night and played around with ideas uh, to try and get some visuals that we felt complemented the, the song and the theme. And then we were, she was shooting just some natural imagery. There's imagery from around this area where I am right now, which is a, a rural part of Ireland called Cavan. And uh, the Sano Hill, <coughs> the name, I use for my music is um, is here. So Park Sano Hill is actually integrated into that. You would have seen a lot of kind of drone footage that my brother shot yeah, around yeah. this area. And it's a cavern is a very kind of it's called the Drumlin County. A lot of hills, valleys, lakes, rivers. Yeah. So th yeah. that imagery is in there as well, and it's part of. I, I suppose I chose that as well, that song and that imagery, because it was my first single. 
it was about where I come from. It's feeding into my kind of inspiration down through the years. So some of that's in there as well. Uh, the literary inspiration, the kind of natural imagery, and then uh, there's kind of darker, I suppose, undertones there as well, which is about contemporary anxieties, I guess, around. Yeah, I noticed the, the black and white um, yeah. at the beginning of, of the video. Um, but yeah, it really relates to the lyrics. It's very carefully, cleverly put together, I thought. Really good. Thanks, I appreciate that. Thank you. Everyone mm. loved it, dude. Every, wait till you hear your compliments tomorrow, man. You're going to love it. Tim, the rough man, Conzie, the final compliment of the evening. What was your thoughts sir, dude? I know you love it. Yes, I did love it. Uh, very original, very authentic sound. I mean, I just thought everything was cohesive, meshed together to make a great, great song. And just loved Thank it, loved it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, if you like that, please check out the other Sano Hill music on, on Spotify and on whatever platform you use. I have four. I have a new single coming out next week. I have uh, th two other singles up there as well. Um, right now, it's all about getting an album complete. It's nearly there, but uh, it's bit by bit. As you know, I'm sure as all musicians know, it's kind of a, a labor of love. And it's something that's been work I'm working on for, for a long time. But we're nearly there. And I'm looking forward to getting the album out, hopefully very early in the new year. But we've one more single after the next single that we're going to get out first. Brother, do you know what I guarantee you've been part of the family is an appearance for all your songs, new and past, through time, obviously. You know, so Thank right you. up to right. them also. None of your old music's old to us if they've not heard them yet, you know. So yeah. A song's only old when you decide, oh, that's my old song, I'm not promoting it anymore. Well, I, once there's an article written, it'll never stop being promoted. So Brilliant. the song, The Climb, you know, it, it's, that'll have an article in the next couple of days. And thanks for being a great guest, Sano. Sano Hill, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sparky. Thank you, time. everybody. Thank you for your time and thank you for your work, Sparky, Kirsty, yeah. and for everybody who's been involved in this today. I'm just sorry I couldn't have been more involved, but I will do. Yeah. Time goes feel, on. feel free to use the same ticket to come to tomorrow's show. You can come in for five minutes, leave and come in and out. See who's Brilliant. on. No, I will. I'll, I'll definitely out. try and pop in. I'm traveling back yeah. from where I am now back to Galway tomorrow, but I'll, I'll try and catch up at some point during the day for sure. Okay. Sano, hello, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Sano. I'm going to stop the recordings now. So goodbye, Facebook. Take care, all. Bye. bye, and bye. Then the final goodbye. I like to end with a, a peace sign. Everybody wants world peace in this world. Eh? So let's. Throw your peace signs up in the air and hopefully we get it one of these days. I love everybody.